Step 2, Modeling. Activate the 5.2 Modeling Steps preset view from the Navigator view map. We are going to model the rose window on the floor plan in three steps. In the first two steps, we'll create the stone traceries using the slab tool. These steps are very similar to those in the fourth chapter in which we made a rectangular door. However, during the last step, you'll learn a new trick with which you can define custom shape openings for your autosave doors and windows. Activate the 5.3 Model the Mullions preset view in the navigator. We'll start the modeling with the stone mullions or traceries. The active view set shows only the contours of the mullions to help you in using the magic wand. Open the slab tool. and click on the Favorites button, select Window Mullion from the list, and click Apply. The required slab parameters are set so that we can start modeling the mullions. Click OK on the Slab Default Setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Move the cursor over the exterior circle and hold down the space bar on the keyboard to activate the magic wand function. The cursor's shape changes to a magic wand, indicating that ARCHICAD will automatically trace the contours of the clicked element. Click with the mouse. Select the slab and activate the slab tool again. Hold down the shift key and with the magic wand click on the contours of the internal polygons. The required holes are added to the slab. Now, let's model the profile of the mullions with the slab tool. Activate the 5.4 Add the Mullion Profile preset view in the navigator. The floor plan shows the 2D outlines of the mullion profiles. Open the slab tool and click on the Favorites button. Select the Mullion Profile option from the list and click Apply. The required slab parameter values are set, so now you can add the profile to the traceries. Click OK on the Slab Default Setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Activate the magic wand by pressing the space bar and click on the external circle. Hold down the Shift key and select the slab by clicking the mouse. Make sure that the slab tool is still active. Using the space bar, Activate the magic wand and click on the contours of the internal polygons. The holes are cut from the slab. So far the modeling steps were the same as in Chapter 4 in which we made a rectangular door. However, if you saved this model now as a GDL window object, you would get the following result. As a rule, ARCHICAD always cuts a rectangular opening for auto-saved doors and windows unless you define a custom opening contour with a special model element. See the description in the next step. If you take a closer look at the picture, you will also find that the size of the opening is equal with the bounding box size of the model. In the next very important step, we'll show you how you can define non-rectangular openings for your auto-saved doors and windows. Activate the 5.5 Define the Wall Opening preset view in the navigator. The floor plan shows the contour of the rectangular opening. Open the slab tool again and click on the Favorites button. Select Wall Opening from the list and click Apply. The slab that we are going to place on the floor plan is used only to define the contours of the opening. Therefore, its elevation, material, or thickness is not relevant. Furthermore, any other 3D ARCHICAD polygon tools, example roof or mesh, can be used for this purpose. In this example, we'll make a thin black slab underneath the window model. In order to tell the program to use the slab for wall opening definition, you need only enter a magic word in the ID field of the slab settings dialog. The word that you have to type is wall hole. Open the listing and labeling tab page and enter wall hole in the ID parameter field. 
Click OK on the Slab Default Setting dialog box to return to the floor plan. Activate the magic wand by holding down the spacebar and click on the circle. Now we are finished with the modeling part, so let's save the GDL window object.